I am a befriending and bereavement support volunteer. Um, I've been doing that for nearly 20 years actually. A lot of the time these days I seem to be taking people out for a drive and we go across Dartmoor or by the coast and we'll go into a, a cafe, have a cup of coffee or something like that. Or even just take a sort of small picnic, a flask and some biscuits and sandwiches perhaps and we'll sit on the coast and look at the sea. When people are poorly and they can't get out anymore, it's little things like that that, that make all the difference. I, I can't imagine not doing it now, I, I find it so rewarding. And um, a lot of people say to me that, you know, it's quite um, depressing. And you know, in the hospice, for example, they say, what, it, you know, what on earth could you want to go there for? But it's not a depressing place at all. It's full of light and laughter. Sad at times, obviously, and tears at times. But the majority of the time in the hospice, it's just lovely, wonderful. I didn't think I had any skills with, for doing this work at, at all, but I did nearly 33 years with British Gas. My first experience of a, a hospice was in 1996. My brother Roger had been battling cancer for several years. He sadly passed away, and the last few days of his life were spent in St Julia's Hospice in Hale. And I think it made me question my own mortality then as well. And then in um, the September of 1998, I came to St. Luke's and the rest is history, really. You know, I've, I've been here at, ever since. But an engineering background to social care, yeah, sort of seamless transmission, I feel. <laughs>